with chapter number 17 from history book of grade 8 and the name of the chapter is the union executive and today we are going to start from the prime minister the prime minister is the head of the council of ministers which is the most powerful political institution of india the uh, president of india is bound that means is uh, forced or you can say have to it's compulsory for the president to act according to the advice of the prime minister and the council of ministers so what is the position and function of the prime minister so the in the parliamentary system of government now in order to understand what is the meaning of parliamentary form of government there are different forms of government present in today's world but in order to understand what is the parliamentary form of government you must understand this is the opposite one there are many are there but i am not giving example of those parliamentary form of government's opposite is presidential form of government parliamentary form of government means where we will find that there are two executive heads one is the president and the other is the prime minister in a parliamentary form of government we will always find that the president is having less power and the real power or you can say the most powerful position in a parliamentary form of government is in the hands of the prime minister so the prime minister is the real head in a parliamentary form of government and in presidential form of government we will find that the president is having all the powers in his hand in a parliamentary form of government we find that the real powers are lying in the hands of prime minister whereas all the decisions are taken in the name of the president okay so let us understand what are the features of our functions of the prime minister first the prime minister is elected head of the country why is elected because we common citizens are casting our vote and selecting our representatives among them among those elected people only one is selected as the leader who is becoming the prime minister okay the prime minister is the leader of the majority party or the largest coalition and in the parliament coalition or majority party means a party which have won the election is called the party to win the majority from there the leader will be selected as the prime minister and if one single party is not able to get the majority vote of the country there will be coalition government coalition government means when two three parties join together and then form the government that is called a coalition government the prime minister is the link between the president the people and the parliament the prime minister advises the ministers in the discharge of his or her functions and informs him or her about the decisions taken by the council of ministers so you can understand that the prime minister is acting as a bridge between uh, the president the people the council of ministers is becoming the bridge the advice of the prime minister is binding on the president the prime minister selects the members of the council of minister he or she distributes portfolios portfolios means the departments in the council of ministers is selected and then selected by the prime minister and then who will be maintaining which department somebody will be maintaining the you can say the revenue department or you can say the education department then we are having the Mm, uh, we can say the forest department okay transport like this home and then foreign affairs military all these are g- given to them so <clears throat> the portfolios among the ministers are present among the meetings uh, portfolios are distributed among the uh, among the ministers and presides over the meeting of the council of ministers so presides who presides the prime minister is actually conducting the meetings of the council of ministers he or she coordinates the works of the different departments okay then he or she that is the prime minister expand the council of ministers as and also demand the resignation of any minister if anybody is not working properly or found corrupt he can resign and give his resignation letter to the prime minister thus we see that the prime minister is the real head of the nation he or she has the answer for all the success or failure of the government the prime minister is regarded as the leader of the nation our independence day on independence day we will find in india that the prime minister addresses the 
nation from the red fort in delhi addresses means gives a speech okay and addresses the entire nation we are then we are having the council of ministers what are the roles of the council of ministers the function the general elections the general elections of the lok sabha take place once every 5 years after 5 years there is vote and then a fresh new council of ministers get elected and after the elections the president appoints the prime minister who is the general leader of the majority party in the lok sabha if there is no single party holding the majority in the parliament and then two or more parties usually agree to work together and form the government this is known as the coalition government i have told this to you already few minutes back the prime ministers the prime minister then selects the number of ministers according to his or her performances and submits a list to the press submits the list to the president uh, when the president approves and appoints the ministers in the on the list the council of ministers is formed the council of ministers has three ranks one is the cabinet minister other is the minister of states and the deputy minister okay all the ministers of the council have to be the member of the either house in the parliament that means the members have to be from the lok sabha or from the rajya sabha in uh, case of no member is selected he or she has to get elected head to either house within 6 months from the date of appointment if he or she is not belonging to any of the department that is uh, not belonging to any of the houses that is lok sabha and rajya sabha he or she have to become the member uh, within 6 months the prime minister allows each member in the council a separate department or portfolio uh, to handle this is called allotment of portfolios i have explained this to you already like for example they have also given ministry of defense finance um communication agriculture of foreign affairs etc what is the role of the cabinet the cabinet is the inner core of the council of minister the cabinet minister holds the most important portfolio portfolios and make the most important decision and policies the cabinet mission uh, ministers hold the highest ranks and have the greatest responsibility the cabinet holds the real executive power of the indian government and is collectively responsible to the lok sabha the cabinet can remain in office as long as it enjoy the confidence of the majority what is the confidence support support of the majority in the lok sabha if a vote of no confidence is passed against anyone the cabinet minister or uh, the whole council of minister has to resign immediately the entire council will has to answer the shortcomings or failure of the part on the part of any one minister so if first of all vote of no confidence vote of no confidence means when the you can you know that when the majority party is there there will be a party or there will be few parties who are in the opposition that means they have not won the election they have got the seat but not won the election so if they feel that the government is not working properly the cabinet uh, cabinet ministers are not working properly the or the cabinet members are not working properly then the vote of no confidence that means they are not supporting that work of the government and they are passing this vote and if that is getting passed in the parliament not for the common people it is getting passed in the lok sabha and as it is getting passed in the parliament then the council of ministers and the cabinet minister will get dissolved and again a fresh new selection will be done civil servants civil servants mean the government employees okay like the ias officer ips officer those are the civil servants okay let's start civil servants are government employees who do not belong to any political party they can be appointed in the indian administration service ias the indian foreign service ifs and the indian police service ips and etc civil servants are selected on the basis of the upsc that is uh, union public service commission examination they are going through examination and interviews successful candidates are trained and can uh, work at both central and the state level hopefully you understood thank you